everyone! Welcome to Mailbox Goodies with me, Aziza, and today I'm going to show you three different items. And uh, let's get cracking. Okay, so these items I have purchased two. I have, like I have personally ordered them myself, and uh, one of them was sent for review. So I will show you them. I'll show you the ones that I. You know what? I'll show you the one that I got for review first because it is new and it's hot and it's interesting. So the first thing uh, I thought I would do is um, show you what happened because Customs opened it. And you know, like, I mean, people buy this stuff. Like, could, you, could they not try just to be a little kinder? I don't know. Anyway, the item is the M120 Iconic Blue Pelican Fountain Pen. Now, this was sent for review by Applebaum and um, that's all. So I will give you like kind of first impressions as I unbox it just because, I don't know, I think it might be kind of interesting. But um, the box is really cute. Now, if you have seen the M120 green black, it had a much larger box. So I think this one is much more reasonable, like more something you could reuse or keep. It has like the old design work. I think it's really cool. So it's just cardboard, like a, there we go, like a semi-firm. Um, super awesome design. It comes with a little Pelican notebook. The pen does not come with the faux leather Pelican pouch that we are very used to. So let me just show you what it looks like. It also is accompanied by a Pelican ink. This is the 4001 um, Koenigs Blau, which is, is it's just washable blue. Um, sorry if I butchered that pronunciation. My German pal is not here to tell me how to explain, uh, tell me how to pronounce things. So, beautiful design on the label as well, which matches the box. The pen came in a plastic sleeve. I've already taken it out because I have inked it already. But this is the pen, the M120. It is, it's like, it's not a super small pen, but if you like large pens, you're gonna probably find it small. It is plastic. It does have a bit of a plastic feel and sound to it. Kind of reminds me of like the Lamy Safari ABS plastic. Not to say that's a terrible thing, I, that's just what it is. Um, it has a really cute blue ink window. Let me see if I can show that. Mm, might not show up because it's got ink in it, but it's it's like a light blue and it's clear so you can see through it. Um, the nib is really nifty. It has a really cool design on it. This is a broad nib. It is a steel nib, just plated, and it's quite springy and quite nice. I do find it a little over polished so far, so we'll see how it goes with more writing tests, but um, just on my initial experience, it was a bit over polished and it has a, wait, let me see if it'll find that. The Pelican logo is on the Finio and it blends in quite nicely. So that was the, the review item pen. I think it's cute. I think it's interesting. I like the blue. It's kind of a nice color. What really gets me is the price of this thing. So these are like 180 euros, I believe. That's, that's insane. Oh my God. Okay. So I'll discuss that more in my review, but that's just like the first impression of this mailbox goodies thing. The next thing I have is um, another Pelican. This is one that I purchased from Applebaum. This is, first of all, it just comes in a small sleeve. It comes with the Pelican booklet. This one does not come with the Pelican pouch, and you'll probably know why in just a second, because this is the special edition turquoise white M605. No, wait, M600. M600, because it has gold trim. So this is cute because it, compared to Pelican's usual gift box, which is really large and kind of wasteful, I, li I like the size of this one. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the corset. I, I'm not offended, but I, I don't know. It just, I would have been fine with just not having that or just like a little flap that didn't have that, but that's okay. Um, it sits in this, very simple. The pen sits in here, it has a plastic sleeve. It comes with the little tag that's usually on the clip. It is a 14 karat broad nib. So that's it for the box. It is really hard to get the pen out of this thing because if you, you, if you move it down, it hits the edge. So you really have to like push it up. And I'm not entirely sure about that. No damage has been done to the pen, but like it doesn't really make it easy to get out. So that's the box and the pen itself you wanna see. It is the, as I said, M600 turquoise white. Now, in the pictures that Pelican posted before the release, like the teaser pictures, 
I'm pretty sure the blue looked a lot more turquoise. So when I ordered it, I was thinking it was going to be like a true turquoise, like a, a greener turquoise, but it's definitely a bluer turquoise. I'm not saying it's not attractive. It's just a little different from the pictures. Blue turquoise, not green turquoise. So there you go. Um, I haven't inked it yet, and um, I look forward to trying it. I, I think it's pretty. I like the white ends and stuff. Like I, I like the look of it, so I was pretty excited about that. Last but not least, this is a pen I ordered from Pen Chalet, who is sort of like my, my sailor go-to guy because, well, first of all, he ships super fast. I just love it. And um, I tried to resist this pen and then I just couldn't. So I'll tell you what it is in a second. This is the box. You've probably seen the sailor box. I've already opened it for pictures, so the box. No one cares. You want to know what the pen is. The pen is the Sailor 1911 Large in Royal Tangerine. And believe it or not, I picked a hard extra fine nib. So that should be interesting. I mean, it is interesting. I have inked it already. It's, it's definitely different to my usual nibs. And uh, I really wanted to try it because, I, you know, sometimes you just need a fine nib. It happens. Now, this is the third in the North American exclusive series launched by Sailor. These are all large. So this is the Fresca Blue, the Anchor Gray, and the Royal Tangerine. And um, they all had different nibs on them. That's just the way it is. I'm Obviously, if I'm going to have them, I might as well have different nibs for fun. So there is the hard extra fine nib. Very pretty. It's rhodium, um, the rhodium trim. I really like it. It's it's. Has anybody seen that episode of The Office where Michael has to use the budget surplus to pick between a new copier or a new office chairs? And Pam's like, I want Michael's chair. It's one of those that goes. I really want it. So. I, I really wanted it, and I got it. Anyway, that's enough of my rambling. Very pretty pen. I think the orange is really bright, very br vibrant, very happy, great for Kill Winter with Orange. And uh, yeah, I, I'm a big Sailor fan, so in that regard, I'm a bit biased. So that is all. Last but not least, this is sort of mailbox goodies, but it's not really mine. It's it's actually not mine at all. This is the Aurora Optima prototype in light blue with the new Rhodium Flex Nib. This is on loan from Laywines for feedback and stuff. So um, I have it inked with Waterman Serenity Blue and I'm testing it out and uh, that's all. That's, that's all I can really say so far because I haven't really spent enough time with it to really really get to know it. I have a tiny bit of extra time so I thought I would just do a quick look at these down below so you can kind of see what they look like. So here's that ink. Really, really cute. I really like this design. It's very beautiful. The pen. This is the M120 Iconic Blue. The lighting in here is a bit yellow I think. Sorry. But do you get the picture? And there's the pen, ink window, really cute nib. All right, and that is one. Next was the, I'm going in the wrong order. Um, here, let's do the Pelican M600 Turquoise White. I like this one a lot. I had the pink from a couple years ago and you know, I thought I bought it and I actually, I just sold it kind of stupidly. I was going through, I was like, oh, I just want to get rid of all my pens and I sold it and now I regret it. So if any of you out there has a pink, let me know. It's very pretty. Next, we had the Sailor 1911 Large Royal Tangerine. This is definitely a bright, beautiful orange. Really nice. I like it a lot, not surprisingly, because I bought it. And here it is with the Fresca Blue and the Anchor Gray, in case you're curious about all three colors and you're trying to consider one. The Anchor Gray is probably my least favorite, but it's just because it's kind of a not a thrilling color. I love these two. Last but not least, this is that Aurora Optima in light blue. This is the Flex, this is the prototype, and it's on loan from Laywines to check out, give it a good test. Um, I've used it a little bit, and um, I cannot quite yet say my final thoughts on it, but um, there will be a full review and stuff of this one later. Okay, so that's everything. Just wanted you to have a peek at it if you wanted to see it a little better than in front of my face. And that's everything. Okay, bye-bye. 
So there we go. Mailbox goodies! Uh, it was fun. I spent a little bit too much money this week, month. Mm. Anyway, there we go. There we have it. Hopefully this was sort of fun and probably not useful, but fun anyway. And thank you for watching. If you liked, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon is Gourmet Pens. And that's all. We will see you for the full reviews. Bye-bye.